Let's get into the tools. I bought this shirt from a thrift store for about $2.99. And so this is a great thrift DIY transformation yet again. Let's be sustainable, folks. And then other tools you'll need is fabric glue, some fringe I got from Joann's for $12, three yards, a measuring tape, scissors, and a pencil. So let's start off with the shirt. First thing you want to do is ensure that all the buttons are lined up. We want to make sure that this shirt, it's buttoned on the sides as well as on the front because this is going to help with alignment and just making sure everything is straight. So I'm going to start off with the back. I saw a design on um, just some cowboy and cowgirl and cow people as designs that I'm trying to follow. So I'm going to try to do a B on the back with fringe on the sleeves. And that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm laying the fabric down flat and then I'm going to take the fringe and I'm going to measure out and do kind of like a rough outline by laying the fringe on top of where I want to put the des design. And this is kind of just like a rough estimate, not exact. I don't think this costume has to be exact. Have fun with it, folks. This whole project took me about 10 minutes max. So the next thing I did was take the fringe and I cut it because I was afraid the fringe was going to buckle at the top of the shoulder and I didn't want it to be bulky. So I cut the fringe from the like hole on the sleeve, um, the wrist area, all the way up to the shoulder and I did it on that invisible seam. So I cut the fringe and then I'm gluing it on with fabric glue. So next we're going to focus on the back of the shirt. We want to make this one a little bit more exact. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the measuring tape and I'm measuring the width of the shirt. And then I'm splitting that in half which might happen to be 12 and a half point five, and I'm just marking that. I'm going from the shoulder. So making sure that it connects to the shoulder. Sorry about this arm, y'all. I'm going to work on my DIYs and this arm angle. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying, y'all. Give, give Shorty a break. Give me some leeway, some slack, please, and thank you. So I'm measuring that length and I'm doubling it with the fringe. Again, I got three yards of fringe for $12.99 at Joann's Fabric. So I'm measuring that, and I had fabric left over by the way, I'm measuring that, I'm placing it down again on the shirt, making sure the shirt is flat to the best of my abilities, yeah. So I'm kind of overlapping the fringe a little bit and I'm going to take it down and glue it on. Something I didn't do that you could consider is putting a sheet of paper or piece of cardboard in between the two um, layers of fabric between the shirts because the glue slightly seeps in and it kind of makes a mark. Just a warning, a lot of fabric glues don't want you to wash your garments until 48 hours after they have been glued on. Just make sure the glue has completely adhered to um, the fabric. And this is kind of like a lazy girl method. Sewing this would be ideal, but that's not the point of this DIY. It's supposed to be easy, breezy, beautiful, hot girl. I mean, that's the phrase, right? Easy, breezy, beautiful, hot girl. <laughs> easy, breezy, beautiful. You know, just easy, breezy craft. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I said that like a hundred times. Anywho, I'm going to repeat the technique on the other sleeve of the 
of the shirt and i'm just trying to make sure that the shoulder and um the wrist there's kind of like a seamless on the shoulder areas if you get what i mean So we got to the front of the fabric and it's kind of the same technique. I'm doing another V shape because I thought this would be fun. I initially was just going to do like pockets, but I was like, I have so much um, fringe left over. Let me just do a V neck. Um, just watch out for the buttons. You don't want to glue on top of the buttons. So I kind of did a over under technique, if that makes sense. Um, do it at home. It's not hard and it, people are this isn't project runway even as much as i want it to be it is not so no one's going up to double check project it turned out better than i anticipated there were a couple issues at the shoulders and some aspects need to be re-glued i was kind of in a rush so this is just a fun little fringe shirt. Um, you can see it, how it looks nice. The only thing I need to watch out for is just the shoulder. It kind of needs to connect just a hair better. Okay guys, I'm back with another video. This time I don't look like a presidential candidate, but I look like Lil Nas X. Hopefully that you see. Um, the shoulders were kind of a little bit more tricky to glue. This whole project took less than 15 minutes and it was under $20. So this is a fast, easy, breezy, fun way to make a Halloween costume that is cost effective as well as sustainable for the environment. A little DIY for you folks. I hope you liked it. But before we go, I'm going to turn up the heat and give you a little remix. A hot girl costume with this. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bloop. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go get him. Here we go. Here we go. Go get him. 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 Just let it black, got the boots and black them hat Riding on a horse, ha, you can whip your Porsche I've been in the valley, you ain't been up off that porch Now, nah, can't nobody tell me nothing Can't nobody tell me nothing Okay, kids, there's a new shirt from town Before I go, I have one little disclaimer This costume is not meant to be problematic in any way I am not doing this in terms of Indians and cowboys. I'm doing this based on the aesthetic of Little Nas X and the fusion of hip hop and country um, Western times. Let's remember our indigenous people of America, Native Americans, and that this weekend is National Indigenous People Day on Monday, formerly known as Columbus Day. So, Enjoy. I hope you guys like this costume, man. Yeehaw. Have a safe and fun Halloween. <laughs> this makes me... Did anyone see holes? Just call me Mrs. Sir. It's it's like a fusion of gender identities. <laughs> there I go again.